to be talking about fashion trends again this is my final video in my fall trends video so I have been talking about these fashion trends that I have been seeing for the fall and winter so autumn winter 2018 2019 so this last trend that we're gonna be talking about is actually one of my favorites I always like to have a little bit of Western inspiration like injected into my personal style whether it be with fringe or studs or boots or belts so I have been talking about this theme of nostalgia, which I really feel like the Western trend falls under. It's like very American history, Wild Wild West, those old TV shows that maybe your grandparents watched, your parents watched, I don't know. So that is definitely the inspiration behind this trend. I think I'm just gonna call it, what, what did I call it last time? So what we're seeing a lot of for this trend are embroidered shirts, yoked shirts. Like I feel like Calvin Klein did a pretty good job of that last season, was it last season? I'm like blurring all the seasons together since everything is kind of similar. Definitely yoke shirts, the utility kind of pocket shirts. A lot of denim. Denim is a classic that we see every season for years and years and years and we're gonna continue to see for years but it's just like more of like a patchwork denim now and paneled jeans. Also another category that we're seeing are prairie dresses. I saw a lot of that romantic kind of, I always think of like Ralph Lauren with their prairie dresses. I don't know, they, maybe they did it a few years ago but I always go to that but yeah a lot of those romantic prairie very flirty feminine dresses and you can just pair them with boots and like make them a little bit more tough I feel like that's what a lot of designers were doing so where we saw this trend pop up on the runways Isabel Morant is a Definitely one to look at for this trend, but also Louis Vuitton, Fendi. I'm seeing these boots featured everywhere. They have the shorties, and then they also have the taller ones, which I'm really into. I also really like the Isabel Marant boots. I don't think I've ever wanted anything more than those Isabel Marant boots. Well, no, that's a lie. But I really, really want them. Also at Chloe, I feel like Chloe also always has this kind of like more folk vibe. And Alberta Ferretti. Also Givenchy and also Coach. A few little updates that I was seeing was very futuristic, which I also mentioned is kind of a theme throughout the full fall winter season, which I feel like maybe I mentioned in the spring summer as well, like space cowboy kind of vibes where the jacket will be metallic, which is kind of like the 80s trend. So we're also seeing that play into the Western wear and I really am into that. I love anything futuristic and I love anything Western so mix those together and it's like my dream come true we're still seeing a lot of fringe which I did mention in my spring summer so definitely take a look at those other videos if you're looking for even more inspiration or just seeing how this trend plays out I will have those linked in the description box down below if you want to learn how to trend forecast I feel like that's kind of a way you look at past collections and you just kind of see the new iterations and how they're reintroducing this and like making it a little bit more fresh and you know it's just gradually gets better maybe I don't know to me I feel like it got better with the space update another little subcategory I've already mentioned the cowboy boots cowboy boots we have been seeing since the spring summer animal print is something that I had mentioned in the 80s trend but also in the Western trend we're seeing a lot of animal print kind of like animal finishes so snake and also croc the cowboy boot in general you're going to be seeing a lot of but not only cowboy boots but also slouchy boots I know boots in general are always a fall staple so you're going to be seeing like you know a bunch of different versions of boots but I feel like the cowboy boot and the slouchy boot are going to be the most popular for fall and winter so the slouchy boots I'm just going to show you guys a few examples of how it popped up on the runway we saw them pop up at TB, at Todd's, at Ports, Y Project so now let's go ahead and change gears and just kind of show you how I'm wearing this trend in my wardrobe like I mentioned I wear a lot of it some of the things you've probably already seen on my channel but yeah let's just go ahead and jump into the outfit Okay, so we are back at my rack. I really hope you guys like these kind of talk through styling If you do, please give this video a like that way I know and I can continue to do more of these This is actually my favorite trend. I saved the best for last So if you wanted to just kind of take it up a notch, this dress is actually by Lulu's and I believe it's still available I'll have it linked below. You can like add a hat you can add some boots. These over the knee boots, I feel like they're a classic item. We're seeing less of them, to be honest, and the slouchy boot is what's really being introduced this season. This dress is actually just a smidge too big, so I'm going to use 
this very western belt, you'll have a western look just with like a western style belt and boots maybe, like western boots. <coughs> This time it was peanut butter. So you can like let go of the hat. And I love the tone with this. So very fall, very western. I like this outfit. I feel like I even like it more with the hat. But like I said, I really, really love a western kind of vibe. Another really easy way to introduce this that I know we all have is just straight up denim. I'm gonna go ahead and add my favorite redone pants and I actually have a little discount code for you guys I don't get like commission off of it but it's just a code for you guys to use and you guys get 20% off redone I'm gonna go ahead and put on this you can go ahead and add a belt I'm going to use this one this is from ASOS sorry about the noise by the way it's a gardening day I'm gonna also add this blazer that I know you guys have seen a million times but guess what my cost per wear is amazing and then I'm just gonna take this little bag that I'm super obsessed with at the moment. And I feel like, again, you can probably wear this to school, to work, out for lunch, dinner, etc. all of the above. You can also just do this, I would say, like with a basic white t-shirt, but I do love a collared shirt. I feel like another big part of this trend is actually like patchwork kind of denim. This is also new from Lulu's. Oh my gosh, the noise today like literally doesn't stop. And then I'm just gonna add this jacket that I freaking love. I got it at Wasteland. You can find a lot of these kind of jackets at your like vintage stores, thrift stores. There's always a ton. If you're in LA, I would recommend Wasteland, American Vintage, Slow, all on Melrose. So check them out. And then you can just add, again, a little cowboy boot. I'm gonna do these guys that are a bit higher. So there's that outfit. I don't know, do you guys like this? I'm gonna put on this nasty doll top since it's super Western. And we'll just go ahead and tuck this as well. You can also do that. I'm gonna take off these boots and add these babies right here. These are by As Asuka, and I got them a while ago, but I think they might still have them available. And if not, I know Steve Madden has some amazing ones. I feel like you can do a denim on denim here, and then I feel like that's pretty cool. Or another huge part of being Western are like suede materials. So again, I found this guy at Wasteland. And I love the way this looks with all the creams. This I feel like would even look cool with just like a t-shirt. I'm gonna use these pants again that I showed you from the last trend video. You really only have to have like a few little pieces and you can totally mix up and give a different vibe each time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this suede guy. I'm gonna add this Western belt that I'm obsessed with from Maj. So you can just do that. And I just have it on with like a mule. I can't find the other pair, it's somewhere around here, but you guys get the idea. Or you can even use it with like sneakers. I love these Reeboks. If you wanna stay warm. Something like that. Still a very Western kind of outfit, very comfy. School work, running about in town. If you feel like this kind of top is too much, I know it's not really warm everywhere, but this is realistic for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck this as well. And you can just kind of play around with accessories. And I love the way that like ankle boots look with a cropped pant or a cropped jean. Maybe I can do something like this conch belt. It can be a little bit more Western. If I feel like that's too Western now, I can just carry a little cute backpack. This is also from Lulu's, obviously inspired by Chloe, which Chloe was giving us major Western moments. So we'll just go ahead and add that. And it kind of has like a nice play with color, textures, volume, all of the above. So we are back to this really basic standard outfit, just literally jeans and a t-shirt. And now we're just gonna elevate it. 
I'm gonna add these guys, which I told you like a lot of the trend of this is like space cowboy. Oh, you know what else is like black denim? I'm gonna change it to black jeans. So I changed into these vintage Jordache jeans that I think my aunt gave me. I can't remember if I got these at a thrift store or if my aunt gave me them. Now to make it a bit more cowboy-esque, we can do that. And like, you can just do a classic boot or a cowboy boot. I'm actually gonna wear these ones so it doesn't look like I'm straight out of the wild, wild west. So I'm gonna add these more like witchy ones that are super on trend right now. An all black outfit, a bit more interesting. I wish I could like tuck this, but it's super cropped. So, and then I can just kind of add this bag, give it a little punch of color. If you don't like that bag, you can always just do a classic bucket bag. I love these bags by Angela Roy. They are vegan leather, sweatshop free, and they're very beautiful bags. I really love them. I love this color for fall. This is like their newest one, but I've had this one and really used the crap out of it. So I'll have that linked below as well. If you guys don't like this, all the way up. Whew, that is hot. Just do the suede again with just the white tee, black jeans, black boots. We don't have to do that. Maybe we want to add some fun earrings. Right here. <laughs> you guys get the idea. We can add like a belt of some sort. Maybe we want to add some other texture up in here. I don't know. Have fun with it. Another way to kind of make it space. That's what I was doing, right? Space cowboy, sorry. Kind of deviated. I got inspired by some other stuff. <laughs> we can add this. I feel like adding just a little bit of sparkle can really dress up an outfit. So we can just add this to keep with that Western vibe. Another fringe moment. You know, we're just like a little bit more dressy. Kind of taking it like Madonna. You guys know? No. Okay. More of a moment. We're going to use these guys that are very much inspired by Saint Laurent. And these kind of slouchy boots are what I'm talking about that are super in this season. So we can just add that. I'm going to switch up. And it's obviously very western. So you can keep the belt on. I'm so sorry, I'm so blind and I can't see that far from the viewfinder, so the shoes keep getting cut off, I'm so sorry. Add this belt to kind of tie the gold and the silver. I don't know where we're going in this outfit, but we're going somewhere. Go to space, maybe? We can also just change up the accessories on this outfit. I think the way that I would really, really wear this is... Let me show you. I know I mentioned Nordstrom Rack as a really great place to get earrings and jewelry. I would also really recommend Aldo. I know, super random, but they have really good jewelry that's like fun like this. If you take off these shoes, I would add these guys, and that's probably how I would really wear this outfit. I love that. And it's still kind of giving you a little bit of like a spacey kind of look just because of the metallic. Metallic is huge. And speaking of metallic, I do have this skirt. I feel like I might have shown you guys this before. So we can also just add that to here. Let's just see what that looks like. Again, I'm gonna get that beautiful belt that I've been obsessed with by Maj. And I really love things that have both silver and gold. Everything kind of just flows easier. This does feel like a bit more dressy. I feel like doing something like this would be really chic. Like I already have so much going on in the outfit. And again, I can maybe do these earrings. Oh wait, these ones are different. Which one do you guys like better? I'll just leave them both on. Like that. And this one again gives a little bit of that space cowboy. So now let me show you what else I have on the rack. We have this guy that is also from Target Who What Wear collection. I feel like it gives that like very prairie, almost like the gingham reminds me of like farm. 
attire. I don't know, just me. It's very feminine and I love that. I think with like some cream trousers. This one is another one. This kind of stitching, this collar is very Western. This is old from Zara. I feel like literally wearing anything with denim is gonna give you that vibe. Fringe is definitely in. I had showed you guys this last spring when I mentioned the Western, like I touched on it a little bit. Anything with fringe I feel like will look really great for this trend. You can even add fringe to your own jacket. That's what I did here. So I'm gonna show you an outfit with this jacket, but again, you can literally throw this on with anything. So I added all these patches and we just added this ombre fringe. And what's really great is like I was able to really customize it and no one else has it. So that's also an option if you wanna just like jazz up a jacket. Leather jackets are huge. I got this one recently from Wasteland and I've always wanted one and I just finally bit the bullet and bought it. They can be a little bit more on the pricier side, but I feel like it's worth it because they're so durable. This skirt, I felt like, is very, like you can even do this. I think it's great because it feels a little bit more rustic. I love the red, so it kind of switches it up from your everyday denim. And you can still treat it in the same way, like style it in the same way as like a denim skirt. This is new from Nasty Gal, so it's available now as well. I'll have it linked. Denim jumpsuits, you guys are gonna see me style that just right after this bit, so keep watching. Fine little accessories at the thrift store. This is also vintage that I found, and I feel like it gives you more of like a Western vibe. I would definitely say hit up your thrift stores for denim jackets, leather jackets, fringe jackets, suede jackets, belts, bags. You can definitely murder this trend just going through the thrift store, so let's get some dope music, guys. <laughs> First up is the denim jacket I pimped out myself. You can literally just take whatever denim jacket you can find and add patches and it will automatically update it for this western vibe. Actually, I initially made it for this country music festival stagecoach. So I just paired it here with a distressed white skirt that has an asymmetrical hemline. I decided to go with the ribbed mock neck for more of a fall vibe and also white boots. Next, I took that prairie dress vibe and threw on some over-the-knee boots as my fall weather antidote, especially because this dress is of a shorter hemline. I also threw on a classic denim jacket and belted it with a western style belt. And again, that little bucket bag that I've been loving. Last is this denim jumpsuit I found on Nasty Gal. It's a bit oversized and I think it's meant to be oversized, but it's super oversized on me, so I always just cuff the hem and belting it allows me to not get lost in it. I of course went with the western style belt yet again and added that same little bucket bag. So let me know what you think of this trend. I would love to hear from you. Let me know where you guys think this trend is headed. I mean, we've already seen it for a few seasons, so you guys predict where it's going. Also, since this is the last trend video for my fall winter season, let me know which trend is your favorite. And if you haven't seen any of the other trend videos, I'll be sure to link all of them in the description box down below, or you can go ahead and click this playlist and you can watch all of them there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.